Hey guys, this week I want to show you how I flatten large slabs on my assembly table. With how popular live edge slabs have gotten, it's good to have a good way to flatten them. Because more than likely, the slabs will be too wide for your jointer and planer. So I made a little add-on for my assembly table that allows me to do slabs that are 80 inches long and up to 44 inches wide. Mine starts off with two 2x4s that I jointed and ripped to 3 inches. I drilled holes in them to allow me to clamp down to the bench without interfering with the top surface of it because that is what your sled is going to ride along. When drilling these holes I also lined them up with my T-track on the top of my table so I could clamp in my T-track as well to make the sled adjustable. I don't know if I'll ever use it narrower like that, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to line the holes up. Now for the slot itself. Mine is made from an old metal bed frame. Check on Marketplace or ask around. I'm sure you can find one no problem. I found it on the side of the road for free. Now here I'm showing you the top of the sled. I cut two pieces out of the bed frame the same length and then I connected them on each end using a couple pieces of 2x8 with screws. I also added iron on edge banding so that the router will glide smoothly on it. Flipping it over on the bottom side, I also added iron on edge banding and as you can see it's starting to bubble and come off in a couple spots but this does make it glide super smooth so I may need to find a better way to adhere it to it. And then I added a couple scraps of 2x4s that straddle the rails on my assembly table to keep it straight. To get the router ready for the sled, I put in a slab surfacing bit. This is just a cheapie that I got on Amazon. I will link it below. It probably doesn't last as long as the super expensive ones and it's starting to get dull right now, but I have done a number of slabs with it and it has performed pretty well. I also made a quarter inch plywood base for my router that fits right in between the rails of the sled nicely and allows it to stay straight and glide super easy onto that iron-on edge banding. For using the jig, you have to get the wobble out of the slab you're surfacing as well as secure it to the table. To do this, I use shims and hot glue. I shim in each opposing corner of the wobble, being sure to split the difference in between that. I also use painter's tape on my bench, which makes cleaning up the hot glue when you're done a breeze. Once everything is set, I start making passes. In my experience, it is better to make multiple light passes rather than one or two aggressive passes. This helps the bit last a lot longer. Once the one side of the slab is completely surfaced, I then flip it over and then I can repeat on the underside. There is no shimming needed on this side as the underside now is completely flat. I do recommend still securing it with hot glue, however. I didn't on this one and it tended to move around just a little bit. I also used a scrap piece of melamine underneath this to bring the slab up so my router could reach it. Then you just repeat on this side of the slab until it's completely surfaced and you have a perfectly level slab ready for your project. And just a forewarning, this makes a huge mess so just be ready for that. I made this slab into a little live edge coffee table but as I said, my 2x4 runners are 80 inches long, so I can do a slab up to that length. I also do have a full video on the assembly table that I'm using here, if you haven't seen it, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos. Hope you liked it. Catch you in the next one.